If you are looking for non-tipping can coolers, then you're in the right place. But before we get to that, I want to introduce you to a channel sponsor I have. This is the company called The Coldest Water Bottle. If you remember, not that long ago, I did a review of this product comparing it to two of its competitors because I wanted to see if truly it was the coldest water bottle. And you know what? It won. In fact, it was even the warmest water bottle because when I tried the hot stuff in there, this stayed hotter longer. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, I'm gonna leave you two links down in the description. One link is a direct link to purchase the product. The other link, if you say, you know what? I don't wanna spend the money right now, but I might wanna enter my name into a free drawing because the coldest water bottle, they do a free drawing every single week. I'll leave both those links down in the description. Anyway, this is Jeff with Jeff Reviews For You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you'd follow me there too. Now, let's see if this Toadfish non-tipping can cooler is any good. All right, so as far as unboxing this, there's not a whole lot. So inside of it was directions. There's a little sticker you can put on a window or your computer or whatnot. And there's a smaller rubber gasket, and we'll talk about that later. It's, you'd actually switch this one. First thing I wanna check though, is I have this picture frame. It's just a regular picture frame. There is no picture in there. So I wanna see if I can set this on it. Well, I know I can do that. And what happens when I turn it now? Because that's supposed to be stuck. So what happens if I turn it? Let's see. That's pretty impressive. It's actually just sticking there. I like what I'm seeing so far. Now, let's try out a few different cans. What? That's pretty sweet. All right, first I wanted to get a general size of this. And so it's, it's labeled as a can cooler, okay? So what you're supposed to do when you put this on, you're supposed to pull back on the can part right here, the rubber. What I end up doing is I end up just pushing it down all the way around so I reveal the metal part and then I slide it in and then I bring it up and over. Does that make sense? I guess that's just to protect the gasket. So you know what? We knew it was gonna fit a can, right? Cause that's what it's for. Oh look, I can't even get the can out do it that way. I gotta roll that back down again. What I wanted to see though, is does it fit other things that I would use? Cause I don't always drink cans. So here's just a bottle of water. This is actually, we just picked it up at the store. Yeah, that fit. Sometimes I drink soda. Will that fit? Um, nope, it won't fit. And then I honestly, I got these because, um, I, my son, like I said in, the, in a previous video, when I had these, right, Mighty Mugs, is he tends to spill his drink. So I got, realistically, this for him, um, but it does fit, and I guess I can use a smaller gasket. So what I want to do now is I actually want to go and test this out and see how it does in action. All right, before I do that, I'm going to show you, they're really similar, right? I think... The Mighty Mug has a little more wobble to it than this does, but they're very similar where you can push and there's the bottoms of both of them. Pretty cool devices. Oop. All right, now let's go test it out. All right, so we've all done this, right? We've come out to our car. We put our drink on the top. Maybe we've got something in the front seat or the back seat. Then we got in, we forgot all about our cup on there and drove away. And well, 99% of the time that falls off. And this would be a great test for this product. But you know what? I kind of want to try it on the four wheeler because that sounds way more exciting. Let's go do that. So when I ran the Mighty Mug on the four wheeler, it lasted only a few seconds. Let's see how the Toadfish does. All right, here we go again. Let's test this out. Okay, so silly me, when I was filming this, I forgot to put a windsock on the microphone, and as you can guess, it got really staticky and just uncomfortable to listen to. But I still wanted you to see exactly what the Toadfish can cooler did. It didn't fall off. And to be honest with you, every turn or dip or bump, I expected it to fly behind me. But as you can see, it did a pretty good job. I just wanted to make sure you were able to see it in its entirety. I don't know about you, but in my opinion, that did a whole lot better than the Mighty Mug. 
So tell me, what are your thoughts of this Toadfish non-tipping can cooler? Is this something that you would use? Do you like the idea of it? Do you not? Have you used something like this? I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. So Toadfish says you can put it right on your rocker and it won't fall off. And to be honest with you, to be completely fair to the product, this is made out of wood and it's really weathered. So what I did is I just got a clamp and put a piece of PVC plastic right here. So we'll set our can on top. Let's just do a test. Well, it looks like it's solid. Let's see it rock. So you can really get going with this thing. Pretty sweet. All right, so we showed this earlier in the video on a um, larger can. This will be a smaller can. Um, you can see there's a lot of wiggle room in there. So what the company actually did is they provided a second gasket that you can use. And so what I end up doing is I put the can in and then I put the gasket over top of it and then fit it right on just like that. So now it holds it in tight just like the other can was and there you go. I just want to show you how that worked. It's important to note that this system only works on smooth flat surfaces. It does not work on cloth type surfaces so the suction cup has to connect to a smooth flat surface in order to work. In this video we've been looking at Toadfish's non-tipping can cooler. And you know what? It's a pretty neat product with a suction cup type design, right? I know it's not a suction cup, and it adheres to smooth surfaces. I will say over the week that I've been using this, you need to make sure you keep this part really, really clean because just putting it in regular cup holders or maybe on a dusty surface or a cloth, it starts to build up dirt or lint here. And then you know what? you don't get as good of a grip, okay? So I just wanted you to know that. I think the whole thing was about 25 bucks. I purchased this on Amazon after seeing an ad on Instagram. I never buy on Instagram or Facebook or those things. I always go right to Amazon and try to find it because then I know I'm probably not gonna get ripped off. Anyway, so if you like this and you're interested in this, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day day. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of this Toadfish non-tipping can cooler. You know, in this video, I referenced another product which is a very similar concept, right? That non-tipping thing, but this is more of a cup. They also have mugs and coffee cups, all sorts of different things. This is Mighty Mug. I did a review of this product not that long ago, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to link that video right up here, and by the magic of the internet, if you click this link, I'm going to join you at that review. So, I would love it if you would click this link. Go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.